Very excited to see your character pop up in Hawkeye because he seems like kind of a good dude on the outside, but there's a little bit more to him, obviously, working with the tracksuits. I think you've absolutely hit the nail on the head. Kazi is not a two-dimensional, straightforward character. Like any good villain in all of these Marvel stories that we've come to completely adore, there's a lot hidden beneath the surface and there's a lot of reasons why these characters have come to be. And I'm hoping that it will be revealed where his motivations lie and what his true inner passions are in the coming episodes. The way I'm judging him right now is through his relationship with Maya. And of the two, he seems to be the more level-headed one, especially in that interrogation in episode three where he kind of pulls her back a little bit. So how would you describe his relationship with Maya? Well, you're totally right in that the tracksuit mafia are a criminal organization in the underbelly of New York. They should not be raising their profile too much. So that car chase was an absolute nightmare, you know? And this is something that Kazi is able to control and takes pride in controlling. So whenever Maya threatens that, he's like, come on, you know. You are. But their relationship is an intriguing one and runs very, very deep. You know, they meet when they're kids. Kazi's actually at that karate class with little Maya. So there's a deep sense of familial love, I would say. You know, there's a familial bond between the two, having grown up together. But Kazi is also fiercely, fiercely loyal to, to the TSM. It's the only sense of stability he's ever known in his life and for that reason he feels safe in it and wants to work his way up the ranks as much as possible surprise I, I, I just want to talk in this latest episode there's that interrogation in the car with hawkeye i'm not going to call them friends but there seems to be some kind of mutual understanding they don't want people to die they don't want the ones they care about to die did you find that common ground as well in both your character and hawkeye absolutely that was something that i picked up immediately I, I thought there was a mirroring going on between the two i think kazi has a immeasurable respect for Clint, he might not like him all that much, but he certainly respects him. And Kazi, although being a criminal and although holding a gun and sometimes he has to use it, I don't think he's an inherently evil person. And if there's no need for bloodshed, I reckon he would decide against it. And he doesn't have any particular beef with Clint. You know, their worlds have collided in a very random happenstance way because this Ronin figure has popped up, you know, to which they're both connected separately. There is a respect there, although he doesn't really like the idea of an Avenger being in his back seat. It's, Not a good uh, look for the tracksuit, right? <laughs> Not ideal. You know, because he has this great relationship with Maya, is the show also going to explore his relationship with other figures as well? Are there relationships you're excited to dive into? There is certainly another relationship that is going to be dissected. I'm watching these episodes unfold at the same time as you guys, by the way. Like I haven't seen the last two episodes, so I'm just like <sighs> waiting with bated breath, you know? Yeah. But they're going to knock your socks off because we're getting kind of into the meat of the story, it feels like, I know you can't say what happens, we don't want to know what happens, but can you describe the vibe or the mood or themes that are explored? I think this series has been so fun because of its setting at Christmas time and seemingly on the page, you know, a man just trying to get home for Christmas seems like a simple idea, but the way that this whole thing is beginning to unravel, the stakes are getting higher and higher. The scenario we're going to all find ourselves in is going to be epic. It won't feel particularly Christmas. <laughs> And finally, because Yelena is in and they always say the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Do you think there's some kind of commonality between Yelena and Kazi because they're both kind of not aligned with Clint at mm. the moment? Oh, that's really interesting. And I hadn't actually thought about that. I would say they're most similar in their steadfastness to their own goals and objectives. And there is definitely a commonality there. They just probably never in a million years would have expected their worlds to collide in the way that it has with all these other people around here getting on with their own stuff. <laughs> it's a bit mad, it's a bit mad, but it's, it's super fun.